Hey, just finished uploading the multiplayer lag video. If you haven't seen it, check it out right here. Um, if you haven't seen it, go watch that video, then come watch this one. Because this video is all about a breakdown of the blood effects that were used and how to get some cool splattery death. Alright, here we are at After Effects. I'm going to bring in my footage of my uh, two actors here running through, running through the field here. Um, they're running, they're shooting, and then bam, that guy, first guy dies. So we want to add some blood uh, right when he starts to react to the would-be bullet. If you guys have action essentials, bring in two powder hits. Bring the first powder hit right to the front of the playhead. Uh, head over to your effects and presets bar and type in tint. Bring that in and plop that on the first one. Go up and change your coloring to a, to a reddish color. This is basically just going to change the, the the tint of the powder hit to a nice red color uh, to simulate blood. I'm going to go ahead and put that up on his head. Uh, and if we just watch through that, that's decent. We might want to scale it up a little. Uh, let's try about there. All right. So there's one. And we're gonna do the same thing with the second powder hit, but we're gonna go and drop tint on it again. However, this time we're gonna go and add a nice, uh, kind of like a yellowy, yellowy feel. Um, we're gonna go ahead and place that up where the blood hit takes place. Uh, so right now that's a little bit too yellowish for my like, so I'm gonna come in here, maybe drop the opacity, um, see how that looks. So that's not too bad. Now, as you notice, the camera moves and the uh, powder hits follow the camera because they're just overlaid on top. They're not tracked anything. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna hit P, mark the keyframe button, both of them. And what you're gonna do is just go through manually, going frame by frame and kind of tracking uh, the blood to the relevant position on screen if if this was tracked in um, and the camera's moving fast and it, it the blood the dust is all moving around it's not going to be incredibly pertinent that it's a solid movement just enough so that the eye doesn't catch it um, yeah so that's probably about good and then we're gonna go to come to here through the same thing. Actually, we're just gonna go. We're gonna come in here and copy and paste the lower powder hits onto the upper one. So it's roughly the same tracking. So as you can see there, he gets hit. Uh, the camera goes off to the side, and the powder hits move with the camera, sort of. We can keep tracking this out, keep keyframing it, and we'd have a much better image. Um, also, what you can do. Uh, we're going to open up, we're going to bring in some more footage here. Uh, we're going to go down to Blood Effects. This is also an Action Essentials. Um, blood, we're going to bring in a Blood Splat. Blood Hit, excuse me. Um, what this is going to do is this is just going to provide a on the actor as he gets hit. Uh, we're going to make it a 3D object. We're going to keyframe the position. And we're also going to keyframe the rotations. So as he gets hit, we're going to keyframe this blood splat to his face. Um, and working the rotation to match his face as he's moving around. Uh, so I'm just going to put it right about where his nose would be. Um, and as he falls back, leans his head back a little, adjust the rotation to follow so it, it looks kind of like it's meant to be there. Like I said before, all, all this is happening pretty fast, so the keyframing doesn't have to be extremely detailed. Just a quick and dirty, uh, quick and dirty keyframe. Um, I'm gonna pull that back. So if we watch through here, see so he's got that blood hit on him, um, which looks okay. But we want to first, we're gonna want to mask it out just so it. Uh, Right now it's going off his mask. I'm just gonna come in here and do a simple mask around this. Just a 
lock that in. And then we're going to come in here, maybe change the opacity a little bit. Uh, and add a fast blur. So it's not so detailed. Um, all right, then if we jump back out here, we play through. You can see that mark on his face and it's moving with him fairly well, but it's so fast you can hardly tell. Um, yeah, blood effect, it's pretty simple. They look, they look pretty decent. You get them down and it really adds to the film. Uh, if you haven't seen the multiplayer lag video, then click on the link below and go check it out. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. This has been a blood, blood effects and after effects.